Tervepä terve, this is Finil Black Metal Time here on Rauta. A classic review time with Horna, or Hona, Koti 9 Nousua. Now, this is a release that has been debated over the years, whether it's actually demo, uh, MCD, or full-length album, but despite all that, I thought, what the hell, let's just take it for review, because this was released in 2019, once again, as a reissue version. And here we have the lineup back then, late 90s. We have uh, Moredial and Gorthar right here, which haven't been part of the band for so many years now. We have Nazgul here on lyrics, on lyrics and vocals, as he later on became Werewolf with Satanic Warmaster and still the only original member in the band, Shadrog. Then we have the, obviously the track list here, which starts some uh, Finnish track, then switches to English and then back to Finnish again. And um, obviously we have the CD right here, Kohti Yudix and Nozo, which roughly translates as towards the Rise of Nine, which it is, I, in my knowledge, a reference to uh, Lord of the Rings, those Nazgûls, nine of them, those evil spirits. And then we have recording information, 1997 in Astio Studio, which later on became quite a mainstream metal and rock studio as well gotten some name throughout the years and originally released in 1998 by Salistium and as you can see old uh, labels here labels websites and then we have uh, lyrics here in a quite different layout than typical now I don't usually talk so much about lyrics there are not that much mentioning but it's interesting to notice that song Urkivuorelda which is the starting track here is all about from the orc mountains literally translation translated but it's also about singing about killing the christians like kill all the christians it's as it says in the chorus part which is interesting whether those uh, christians are actually part of middle earth or are those orcs more like creatures of our own world i don't know it's a weird metaphor or it's just just some thing that you know young young guys had role-playing games fantasy literature and also typical uh, black metal Topics such as against Christianity all mingled up together and all that stuff. But it's kind of a hilarious. And I actually asked that late 90s from Shadrach, like, how you two, how do you incorporate these two items together? Like orcs from, I don't know, Middle Earth, Tolkien stuff, and then have Christians there also in the same song. He wasn't so sure about it, and I'm still waiting for that reply. But anyway, that's what young guys do. They just mix and match things and they don't always make that much sense. Now, despite lyrics here, we have some nice MCD or whatever the thing here is. Full-length album, maybe. Um, what Horna did here wasn't exactly groundbreaking. It's very, very uh, no score kind of a thing. But they also uh, made their name into history starting relatively early on. Obviously, we had names such as Behrid, Imbel, Nazarene, Barathrum, Archgo and the like in Finland back then, like way before, years and years before bands like Horna started to emerge, but they still play a very important role in Finnish black metal scene. And this alone here kind of uh, proves that they were doing something relatively new in, in Finnish scene anyway. And even if, it, if it's not new as such, at least they paved their way with kind of a very traditional 1990s black metal. It's mostly mid-tempo, it's a little bit melodic, but it's actually kind of a nice way to balance between the, those all-around blast beats, what Marduk used to do with some songs. And it's still somewhat aggressive, and it's not full melodic, it's not, you know, kind of an easygoing, soothing, whatever stuff, but rather the kind of a typical 1990s Nordic black metal in so many ways. Actually, the starting track, Urki Vuorilda, is still a very strong black metal track, and I think it's one of those Hall of Famers, should there be one, among Finnish black metal titles of all time. But there are some uh, weaker ones among the whole release, which then again, in my opinion, separates this from the so-called true classics. That is not to say that Horna didn't create anything valid, or didn't create, you know, good releases, but... And I have to be honest here, this is far from their best material, in my opinion. I mean, the songs are overall quite nice, and the production 
given that this was done back then with very, very little budget. It's still quite nice. The bass guitar is actually there to support the rest of the, uh, the band and the uh, kind of a thin but still kind of a cutting guitar sound is there to make its way and kind of like prove the band that there are some sense to these riffs and all that stuff. And obviously Nazgul is doing a pretty decent job with his vocals. Obviously later on he created way better sound and became way more violent and is still, in my opinion, one of the better uh, black metal vocalists in Finland. But already with this one he had some style and understanding how to do it. So by no means this is not the best of Horna, not the worst maybe, neither, and I think this still deserves the kind of a classic spot here, because it was opening the door, not only for Horna, but other bands as well, which then again understood that, hey, we can actually do this kind of Nordic black metal with our own style and with our own kind of uh, output and still sound very much like Swedish, like Norse bands and so forth. So very Nordic sound, very Finnish sound also. I think this is one of the defining releases in Finnish black metal and as such it's a good starting point to uh, just go through Horna's uh, career. I think they got so much better later on even with the vocalist changed and other parts as well but like I said I keep repeating here myself I know I think they already kind of a nailed that hey this is Horna and this is how we're gonna sound we're gonna just hone it better we're gonna progress we're gonna create even better riffs make better songs and just find our own style but all the first steps were basically done with this one and as such I think it deserves to be in the limelights so here you have uh, Hornas Kohtiyrix and Nosa some very old Finnish black metal and I can say very old because it's over 20 years old by now so in case you're a newcomer to the Finnish black metal scene or black metal altogether this is something worthwhile taking a look at if you do enjoy black metal in the first place. So now that it's reissued, it's back on stock with distros and labels. So get your copy. This is from Woodcut. So maybe you should head straight to Woodcut and place your order right there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments about Horna. Which are your favorite ones? Do you have any favorite individual songs? Or do you have favorite vocalist maybe? Feel free to comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.